Hi everybody, Beth here, and today I wanted to talk about the new Five Nights at Freddy's teaser that is on SpotGames.com, which gives us the title of what we're assuming to be the 2020 game. So, big spoilers, sort of, I guess. Kind of reveal a spoiler? Whatever. Either way, let's let's get into the thing. I'm gonna talk about the teaser itself, what has changed from the last teaser, what hasn't, so on and so forth, and then my speculation for the games and stuff like that. So if you go into Scott Games, you will see the Scott Games logo blood red. You'll see the traditional Five Nights at Freddy's series logo that they've had for a lot of their merch and a lot of the games are now starting to have. And then you'll see a sign, a beautiful, beautiful bright red sign. And then underneath, you'll see the title, which is Security Breach. And the sign itself has, I believe it's Glamrock Freddy, uh, either in a neutral stage or ready to fight. But admittedly, when I first saw it, I was like, Freddy is ready for the gun show! <laughs> Are you ready for Freddy's gun show? <laughs> and so, you know, that's what I thought. I thought it was hysterical. Um... So yes, you know that the Freddy Fazbear's is Security Breach. Uh, when you save the image, it is SB, uh, nothing else. And the source code for Scott Games itself is different, or not different. It's completely the same. It's the conversation between the two people. Have you picked someone? Yes, I have. Stay the course, so on and so forth. FNAF World does have slight changes, but the image itself on the site is still blank, and they're really, meh. It's still the same, and what changed on FNAF World, I can't really see much of a change. Um, but, you know, if you want me to talk about it, I'll talk about it, but it's just like, Yo got added to it. Got added to the source code. And Yo is a funny letter. That's about it. But anyways, games. Um, yes. So Security Breach is the name of the game. And from this, we've got some shenanigans ensuing. Um, personally, this is how I feel like the game is gonna, what the game's gonna be about. You're gonna be a security guard at either a full mall mall or kind of a pseudo mall slash Dave and Buster's kind of thing for Freddy Fazbear. Um, you know, Dave and Buster's being kind of like the adult or grown up uh, Chuck E. Cheese, you know, lots of arcades, lots of stuff, and then dining off separated kind of thing. Usually really big. So, Kind of, I'm thinking it's kind of like that. It's Freddy Fazbear's kind of almost a. It's a pseudo mall, pseudo Dave and Buster's kind of. It's a massive, massive arcade, massive, massive shenanigans inbound. If we go by Fazbear Entertainment logic, let's just leave it at that. But first two or three days, you've got kind of learning the ropes, and the security's kind of split up into two sections to game playing kind of things. First section is clearing out or kind of like a sneak around the mall, sneak around thing and make sure everything's clear and closed. So you walk around this aban this em abandoned this empty mall, kind of making sure that there's no teens, no nothing, and you know there's nobody trying to try and sneak in and steal stuff. So you walk around, there'd be a couple of sneaking Sneaking scenarios or just kind of hiding kind of things. Almost kind of like in FNAF 4 where you're you're listening to the to the breathing in the hallways and then shutting the closet doors. And the segment in sister location where you gotta you walk a little bit, you pause, you listen for creepy ballerina mom show up, and then you continue on, or you use the flashlight to walk around, kind of stuff like that. Um once you get the all clear, 
you then transition into the office gameplay, which is, you know, your standard Five Nights at Freddy's. Look through the cameras, make sure the animatronics aren't getting close. If they get close, slam the door or distract them another sort of way. Boobity beep beep boop kind of thing. And then once you get into the middle of the week, we, we bring into the story. Um, one of the, during one of your rounds, you find, you start, you hear something and you're like, wait a minute, is that something? But before you can investigate, you get pulled into the office or something. And then now you've got, then you find out during the gameplay of the office mechanic, it's like, oh crap, turns out there are people in here. I can't get them outside, or I can't get them outside the doors because the mall's locked. And, well, if the animatronics get to them, I'm going to be out of a job and questioned by police. And as we all know, Freddy Fazbear is going to be helpful with that. <laughs> Help with that, so I got to try and keep them alive. But at the same time, I've also got to stay alive, kind of thing. So it almost becomes like a convince the animatronics to go towards you or try and convince the the people or whoever stays behind rowdy teenagers or whatever and to get them other ways like you could spook the spook the kids with like you know you could turn on the light somewhere they freak out they run to the next room you can pull a sound cue in let's say like room b you send that sends a couple of the animatronics going that way because they're like, oh wait, there's kids there. Let's go here, let's go see what that's up with them. Kind of deal. And then Vanny gets in here and then you know, we get to see what Vanny's goals and motivations are and then end of the week, you get your bonus. And then you GTFO. <laughs> or, you know, Fast Bear Entertainment kicks can't keep the business open so they gotta close it and so on and so forth um or not fast bear entertainment it kind of depends on when this game is set in the time timeline um i mean with all the 80s neon and lights and stuff it could be it could be kind of set in the past like before 83 could be 84 we we don't know but this also could be like set after the events of like pizzeria simulator and five nights at freddy's three all the souls of everybody else has moved on and will and vanny are just like you know what we could really use some murderous furries right now but who knows this the lore of Freddy Fazbear's is a little confusing, but that's okay. Um, or this could just be a separate universe of Freddy Fazbear kind of thing. Like, it's not like a separate reality, but or actually, yeah, a separate reality where, yes, we're taking what is the core of Five Nights at Freddy's, your murderous animatronics, your killer purple guy, and a poor security guard that isn't paid for any of this, but has to deal with it anyways. And then we're putting them in a new setting. A new, we're twisting up the rules kind of thing. Or the other alternative is that you're part of a night crew with, you're the secure, you're not security, you're a tech member, kind of like how you were in a technician in sister location, but you're actually, you're part of a group group that stays, that's part of the night crew, because as much as Freddy Fazbear probably doesn't want liability, you do kind of need to have more than one person working the night shift. Just saying. Be kind of nice <laughs> to have more than one person. Or more than just one and one person talking to a bunch of robots and talking to the poor cupcake. <laughs> but anyways... That aside, but, like, you're part of a crew, and, you know, you're every night after the shows are over, after the place is cleared out, you've got to work on the animatronics, you got to, you know, you got to, you got to do the animatronics, 
make sure they're set up right. You got to work with the cameras and make sure cameras are working. You got to make sure, I don't know, the, everything's working. And the night guard's supposed to be the one, you know, hanging out in the office, keeping an eye on everybody, but also kind of making sure, hey, the vents are still working. The vents are flowing air. My friends aren't dead. My coworkers aren't dead. Yay! They aren't dying of overheat or whatever. Um, and they're keeping the animatronics when they get curious or whatever. And then as the week progresses, some of your coworkers start getting a little strange and you see Vanny, whatever the fuck Vanny is supposed to be doing, Vanny and Glitch Trap or whatever, you know, they're kind of starting to take control. So it's suddenly it's like, who do I trust? Who can I trust in this establishment? I obviously can't trust the glam rocks. They're trying to pay me. Do I trust the lady with the crazy hair? Or is she just a rabbit? Insanity. Or something like that. Or, you know, there's always a third option where all this cool stuff that we're seeing in relation to, like, the mall, the bright colors and stuff that was in the past. And now we're at this abandoned and decaying mall Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria kind of deal. And, you know, we're part of an excavation company or construction company, and we got to clear everything out and so we can de demolish the place. Oh, by the way, these animatronics that we all thought were broken and not working are working, and they want to kill us. Whoops. And then we also got, I don't know, we're... What we got in relation to what we know about Vanny is coming from, like, the emails and stuff from, like, in AR, and then we kind of have, like, the Wes, or whatever, the, the Help Wanted. Help Wanted, they kind of, we just don't really know what's going on. It's a little confusing. But, I, it's Freddy Fazbear's, Five Nights at Freddy's, confusion is part of the part of the charm but regardless I think it's gonna be kind of cool to see kind of what the gameplay mechanics what kind of story lore things are we doing like is this the universe is this whatever blah 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 you know are we gonna see Mike Schmidt or Jeremy Fitzgerald or are we gonna see any references to those guys are we just it would be kind of funny if you know you're working, one of the guy, you know, if you do have like a team group of team members or whatever, and one of them mentions, it's like, holy crap, who who's been putting too much X on? It's like, it smells like a dead body in here, and you just see another one of your coworkers just kind of nervously looking around, like, oh shit, was that? Did they know? Do they know? Do they know that I'm actually a decaying body and not? Somebody who just sprays that too much. But, you know, it'd be kind of fun to see. Um, I do kind of want to, you know, I'm, like, I'm excited for this, but I'm also dreading the jump scares because I know for a fact the jump scares are going to be intense. Whether we're going to be stuck in a chair in an office the entire night, or if we are going to have, like, two different segments of gameplay where it's like, you're walking around the mall. It's completely empty, except for that kicking can down over there. Hope it's not a robber or a killer animatronic. And then you just get chased down by an animatronic or somebody, and you got to run for your life. You know, the fun stuff when you sign up to work for Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. But those are uh, my feelings and thoughts on the matter. Um off the top of my head. Uh, please let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of the day and see you later. Bye.